We were working with a previous uh, agency uh, that didn't have any video capabilities. And so, you know, all the research we were hearing coming out of Facebook was the importance of video. And so we made a, a, a conscious decision to, to move to an agency that could do video creation for us. And it's been extremely successful for us. Of course, we never had a baseline to compare it to, but uh, every month, pretty much, we're exceeding engagement and uh, hitting the kind of numbers that we, we want. So our video strategy is primarily based on awareness, so we're not necessarily driving business from it, but it's that kind of upper funnel tactic to get engagement. And then what we do is uh, we retarget those people that engage uh, to try to push them further down the funnel. And then what we do with uh, the engagement is we look for uh, common threads and that then will inform uh, any subsequent pieces that we do. With some of our more successful campaigns we've done smaller pieces like the looping gifts just to kind of test response um, and that then might inform more extended pieces. So the, the best example we have is we picked up through social engagement ideas around how people don't use their blinker enough and you know not not insurance related but definitely driving related and so our initial piece was a, simply a looping gif with a um, an indicator light flashing on and off and then the words remember to indicate or something like that i can't remember the exact uh, words and that gleaned incredible engagement and, and taking some of those topics, people were kind of focused on uh, the importance to keep teaching people to use their indicator. And so we, we just flat out did a very simple video on how to use your indicator. <laughs> so it, it became a longer piece of video for us, uh, but continuing that theme. And so, so in, to answer your question, often it's, it's kind of a phased approach. And depending on the response, we might do something more complex um, following that. And thankfully, the agency we work with, Social Ties, do a great job of keeping on top of that for us and keeping the fresh ideas coming. But again, there's a lot of social listening involved. It's not just simply ideas. We're trying to uh, base everything in not just response to our um, posts, but also broader social uh, listening as well. So my background is actually in graphic design. Um, I'd probably say I was a, a bit of a failed graphic designer because we're talking about the 80s when everything was print. And uh, I, I moved to the States um, in 97, and it was right when the internet was really kind of emerging. Over time, I became fascinated with the importance of user interfaces, user experiences and flows. And so when I joined Mercury, you know, one of my initial tasks was to uh, revamp the website, and we, we brought a much more marketing-centric focus to it. Uh, up until that time, it was very much sort of investor-focused, very fun, sort of traditional financial services type uh, culture on the website. We transformed that into uh, really, for want of a better phrase, a selling machine. You know, people came and they got quotes and we were driving sales. Success was defined not only in the number of sales we were making, but also we, we uh, requested feedback from recent purchasers about their online experience. And it's actually quite shocking that people will take the time to talk about the user experience. When we survey customers after, after their purchase experience, it's quite incredible that uh, user experience is becoming part of the everyday conversation, even with people that are not in that industry. And I put that down to the devices we carry around with us now, everything that Apple has done uh, from a user experience perspective. And I think the, the, the everyday public is now very versed and educated on the importance of a positive user experience. And my favorite uh, response was that they interpreted their positive experience with Mercury Online to be a reflection of what service they would get following purchase. And so I, I'm a big believer in the, in the idea that uh, in many ways the experience is the product. So yes, you're buying insurance, but when all other things are equal, such as price, if your online experience is positive, then people interpret that to mean that I, I'm purchasing that because of the experience that I've had.